My guest right now is number one New York Times and USA Today bestselling author Jennifer L. Armentrout. Her novel White Hot Kiss is first in the Dark Elements trilogy and features a very unique group of paranormal beings. The Dark Elements trilogy revolves around these beings that aren't often written about in YA, mm. gargoyles. <laughs> uh, they're referred to as wardens in the series. Why did you choose to write about this particular type of hero? One of the main reasons is I am a paranormal girl at heart. And with the paranormal, I think, genre, it's like everything has been kind of written about. So I wanted to write about something that you don't see quite often, especially in young adult fiction, which is the Gaw Girl. You don't really see about them. Um, we went with the title Wardens because we were afraid that, you know, when you think of Gaw Girls, you don't think of sexy creatures. They're not very attractive looking in stone. I have seen a few gargoyles in yeah. my time. I was kind of wondering about that. Yeah, so, and, um, so we went with wardens instead of saying gargoyles all the time. But my beings are definitely 100% gargoyles. They're not what you think they look like. Um, they do have uh, a human form and then they do shift into a gargoyle form, which is made of stone. Um, and the way they're described, I did take some of the characteristics from the statues that you're you know, familiar with, but then I added my own little twists to what they do look like when they're in their human form. But you know, who writes about gargoyles? So <laughs> I was like, I'll do it. <laughs> You've written a variety of, um, of genres at this point in mm -hmm. your career, from YA, paranormal, adult paranormal, new adult contemporary, <laughs> contemporary romance, <laughs> just to name a few. Do you have a favorite genre to write? Well, the only genre I don't write is, is historical romance, and it's funny because I love historical romance, and I've been reading that, but I can't write it. My, if I wrote a historical romance, it would be 21st century language, and it would just be a hot mess, and then some in that. But my favorite genre to write is really paranormal. Like I said, I'm a paranormal girl at heart. That was my go-to books growing up. It's still my go-to book, so that's my favorite because you get to create something that either people are familiar with, um, but you get to you you get to play like an author god and create the creatures, you create your own rules to the world, and you can do whatever you want in that. And you really don't get that ability in contemporary. You have to work in reality completely. Um, but with paranormal, you can do whatever you want, so that's always been my favorite genre. How do, you s how do you set about um, creating a world? Um, usually I start with the characters first. I get an idea of what my main characters are going to be like. Then I build off those characters into the world itself. So the world building is something that literally happens as I'm writing. I really have no great plan when I sit down. I just know that, hey, we have gargoyles, yay. Usually that scares editors a little bit when they're like, oh, so what's your world like? Oh, no. I'll make it up <laughs> I'll as get I go there along. <laughs> when I get there. Um, but I start with the characters first and then build the world off of them. In the Dark Elements trilogy, the teenage heroine, her name is Layla, is torn between two equally appealing guys, Zane, her lifelong crush and warden, mm -hmm. and Roth, the sexy bad boy demon prince. <laughs> He's appeared in her life to tell her that nothing she knows about demons is correct. Mm -hmm. How do you keep the two guys so distinct from each other and while still making Layla and the readers drawn to her? Well, I think what makes this love triangle unique in a sense is both of the boys are forbidden to Layla. Uh, Zane, she pretty much grew up with, and that's been her like lifelong crush. It's who she's idolized, you know, and worshipped as a you know younger, you know, around ten years old and up to her age now. And he kind of keeps her good, keeps you know what she is in the good side of things. Doesn't let her darkness that she has inside of her come out. Um, but he is forbidden to her. Um, Lila cannot get close to anyone, um, especially kissing, if she will take their soul. Um, so with uh, Roth, he kind of pops in and he is also forbidden to her because he is a demon and he's not your ordinary demon. He is one of the princes. So he is very powerful in the sense and somebody she should really stay away from. But he kind of is like, I think of <laughs> Bridget Jones, like, I just like you the way you are kind of thing where he accepts her her bad side and her good side, but he is also forbidden to her because if she's, you know, it, it kind of affects her more demonic self that she has in her that they don't want her around other demons. So I think the fact that both of them are forbidden to her, it makes that 
you know, everybody loves a forbidden love story, but them both guys, there's no clear one person that she can be with. You know, everybody has had somebody that they crushed on for years that they, you know, never really showed that kind of interest. And then there's the bad boy. You know, everybody wants the redeemable bad boy. So I think keeping them separate like that, but giving them equal standards.